I am not sure if this is recording or not. Let's give it a try. I'm working on um, out of the second year Latin book review with some students, and I thought I would make um, short videos on components of the lessons and then post them generally to the channel. That way, even if it's not something you're covering right now, if it hits your translations and you need it, you'll have it as available as a, as a video. So to start, I'm going to go over the fourth declension. So first declension, we will remember, is dominated with those A's and feminine nouns. We do know that there's the three exceptions, farmer, sailor, poet. And then A, A, E, A, E, A, M, A, A, E, Arum, Is, As, Is. Second declension gave us U's, I's, O's, kind of like future, and masculine and neuter nouns for the most part. And we saw that we had us, er, and um in the nominative, e, o, um, o. And then plural, long i for the masculine, a for the neuter. Orum, is, and then we have os for the masculine, and a for the neuter, and then is again. Third declension, we hit more exceptions, differences, but really it's divided into four categories. You have masculine, feminine, neuter, you have regular third declension, and I stem. So really you ended up with four sets of endings. Um, in the regular masculine, feminine, blank, is, e, m, e, blank, ace, um, ibis, Ace, ibis. What do we change for the neuter? Blank, is, e, blank, e, because that nominative is just going to be repeated again. So with flumen, river, flumen, fluminous, neuter, river, accusative would be flumen again. And then in the plural, we bring that a back. We get the ace or a, ace or a. Then we need to fit in third eye. I should have moved my second over a little. Third eye stem. So here we have blank, is, blank, is, e, m, e, ace, iom, ibis, ace, can't write. Ibis. What do we get in the neuter that changes? So it's blank is e blank and then long i in the neuter. And then in the plural it's i a ium ibis i a ibis. Brings us to fourth declension. Fourth we're back to dominated by use again. Um, we have different endings for masculine, feminine, and neuter, like we do in the third. Um, us, us, ui, um, u. And then plural, us, uum. Ibis, us, ibis. Note that long mark in the plural that we do not see in the singular. Neuter, we like to bring back that nominative accusative match, and we like the A's in the plural. Um, so what does that look like? U, us, u, u. Ooh. Hmm. I just noticed an oddity. Hmm. Um, ooh, ah, ooh, um, ibis, 
ua ibis. What was I humming? Um, no long mark over that U, um, but there is in the accusative, and I did not remember that. Um, I'm looking at the glossary in the back to see if they put a long mark over the nominative there. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. I'll also look in my old grammar book from back in the day. Yeah, it does have the long mark over it. It was a mistake in the mm. index. So, ooh, 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 ah, ooh, um, ibis, ooh, ah, ibis. Fourth declension. Uh, common words. Fructose. Cornu. Horn, but also like the, the band, the wing of an army. And manus, hand, is also a band of men. Um, so we do see military terms. Domus, even though it looks second, it follows the fourth rules more often, but it does follow the second some too. Um, in common vernacular speech, um, you know, first and second were way more common than fourth was. There just aren't that many words in the fourth declension. And fifth, there's really only three words that we use on a regular basis. Um, I'll do a separate video on fifth, and this is it for fourth. Us, us, ui, um, u. Us, u, um, ibis, us, ibis. U, us, u, u, u. Ua, uam, ibis, ua, ibis. See you on the flip side.